moving on so we have one more date obviously this week which was a lot more lighthearted, rugged the men did this buckle brawl where they you know rip off their shirts and they're in the mud um you know i think the main takeaway from that date was all of the drama between aaron and cody <clears throat> which yes. we obviously saw you address um and sent cody home by the end of that night uh when you sat down with Aaron I mean I know that you right away highlighted the fact that okay there was some tension there we all felt it but did you expect him to share what he did with you um what Cody did with you're saying what Aaron shared what yeah did you expect Aaron to share what he did with you like in regards to Cody and like men not being here for the right reasons and being you know kind of sketchy I mean I I'm I don't know if I ever have expectations because I don't know what to expect ever with any of them. Um, when he did open up though, I was, I was thankful, you know, because he is looking out for me and our relationship. And if he has a problem, I want to know about it, you know? And right. I, I just love that he was very direct, which you'll see, you know, with Carl, who was not very direct. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't have time to play games, you know? So I really did appreciate Aaron just being straightforward and not wasting any of my time and just letting me know what's up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will say, I mean, you never know what to expect in the, you know, week by week, day by day. So much changes so quickly. Um, <laughs> I remember at times when I was in your position being like, it's too soon for this. It's too soon for the drama and for men to <laughs> be fighting with other men. But, you know, that's the show. Uh, well, so it really caught off. A, it caught a lot of people off guard on night one when they were like, when Aaron pulled Cody aside and was like, I never liked you and I don't mm -hmm. like you. It was just, everyone's like, what's happening here? I know that yeah. there's drama, obviously, but then yeah, we saw it go down. Yeah. At least we had more context to what was actually Absolutely. going on and, and why. It was weird. I think the premiere night, everyone was like, what the heck is this guy just causing Literally. drama? Cause drama? Uh -huh. um, <laughs> Okay, well, we have so much that's going to happen in these next couple of weeks. And obviously, we're already now into week three coming up. So I want you, I mean, I know you can't give much away, but I want you to give us like a little bit of a teaser of what to expect, what's coming up. Um, we did see in the previews for next week that Nick Vial is going to be hosting a date. So can you give us any more about what's coming? Yeah, you know, the upcoming episode is going to be uh – a pretty important conversation. And I don't think it's really been highlighted before in this way. Um, and I say that because it's, an, it's a conversation that I want Bachelor Nation to join in on. It's a very important one for men and women to go through and understand. Um, so I'm just really, really excited to have that opportunity to share um, because I got to do that with the men and it really made a difference. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Now, I, I I know you can't give away anything really, but is it a conversation that you had with Nick or that Nick then also had with the men? Like, how, what were we talking about? I will say this. <laughs> I, um, again, I never expect anything. And so I'm going through this date. I didn't know this conversation was going to happen. It just, in my heart, I was like, this is the time to share it. Mm -hmm. And it surprised everybody. Mm -hmm. um, including myself, but it really was transformative for me on my journey and really bonded me with those men who were there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I can't wait to tune in, Katie. I know. I'm just like sitting back here, like being quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say because I don't want to allude to anything, but it's going to, oh. yeah, it's, it's impactful.